Oh, I love that show! Yes! Did you see the one about the tennis champion and her sexually abusive father? Oh, I was so disgusted, but I couldn't look away. I know, so crazy. You know, I heard somewhere that that one was fake, but I don't believe it, do you? No, people do crazy things to be on TV, but pretend to be a pedophile? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, you know what else I'd like to watch? I don't tell anybody, but I never miss an episode. The Bachelorette. Oh, is that a good show? She totally picked the wrong guy! Oh, no! I was literally yelling at the TV screen, you idiot, go with the race car driver! Yes! I get so worried people are gonna find out that I watch that show. Whenever I put it on, I actually close the- The blinds! So do I! Oh, God! <laughs> Very funny! I'm gonna regret introducing us. Oh, I know, I know, but I'm so glad that you decided to come. I mean, I'm usually the third wheel on these things. Aw, Penelope's been trying to get me to go on one of these ski trips with you guys ever since I started at Coffee Bean but our boss kept giving me the craziest hours. Yeah, I did think it was weird that our first day was on a Monday at 4 p.m. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry about that, but we'll have plenty of time this weekend. I've been literally counting the hours till we left. I'm stoked. Me too. So this is your first trip to Mammoth? Actually, it'll be my first time on the slopes anywhere. Really? <laughs> oh, well don't worry, I'll teach you everything you need to know about skiing. I just hope I don't make a fool of myself out there. Oh, don't get me wrong, you will fall and it will be hilarious. <laughs> But after a few hours with me, you'll be bombing down a spruce run with the best of them. I don't know what that means, but sure. <laughs> Trust me, you'll have a blast. You'll see. I trust you. Plus, after living in L.A. for so long, I'm excited to feel real snow beneath my feet, you know? Oh, yeah. And, and you're going to see it's so much more than that. I mean, when you're up there on top of that mountain with the pine-scented air and those majestic views <laughs> and, the, and the powdered yeah. snow, you can't be up there and not believe in God. Really? Yeah. I'll tell you, skiing is ethereal. Skiing is transcendent. Skiing, skiing is, is pointless. <laughs> oh, good, Chuck's awake. Seriously, you've willingly agreed to stand on top of an ice-covered hill in zero-degree weather wearing 18 layers of clothes, strapped to two sticks you paid thousands of dollars for that allow you to do one thing, travel diagonally on snow. Whoa. After that, they're useless. I mean, what is the point of skiing? Well, that you're on a ski trip. And do you know people <laughs> broke an arm or a leg last year at this very resort we're going to? One in four, you I looked it up. Do you know people are in this car right now? Four, which means chances are good one of us is going to go home in a cab. No one says <laughs> not going to so be chilling out, drinking beer by the fire in the ski lodge the whole time. And he's going to miss the pine scented air in the spruce yeah. Do you know people die? Die! On ski accidents last year? It's the same that a number that died in 7 Eleven Think about that. No, don't think about that because it's not true. It is, dude. Don't think about what? It's not a crime, just telling you what I know. What's not a crime? Nothing, nothing. This guy, I'll tell you. I hear we're stopping in a 7 Eleven. We're not stopping at a 7-Eleven and no one's dying in a ski accident. We're gonna have fun, right? Yeah. And Penny, if you're hungry, I brought little mini pies in that bag in the back. Ooh, you brought pies, I love it. Oh, it's no big deal. I just stay up most of the night baking them, but it's really no big deal. <laughs> They're Jack Daniel Tangerine with a delicate multi-grain crust. Probably the most popular pie in the restaurant. This is the restaurant where you work? Yeah. Can I tell you? Maddie is a pie maker person. He doesn't use machines, he makes them all by himself, like in the olden times. Well, it, it's more than pies. I'm actually the head patissier, which, which means a, a pastry chef at, uh, well, what is technically the most populated restaurant in the greater Los Angeles area. Oh, well, that Denny's has cockroaches. No, it doesn't, and it's not a Denny's. Well, it looks like a Denny's, it has a green awning. Which says Giuseppe's Trattoria. Well, last week I saw one scurry across the floor right into the kitchen. <laughs> Chuck. Dude, it's not your fault. I'm just telling you what I saw. You should tell management. Moving on. If you want me to do it, I will go in and say it right to their face. I don't want you going anywhere near that place, Maddie okay? Maddie would never do that. He's way too nice. We're oh, definitely what we love about him. No. He's very sensitive. Very soft-hearted. He's soft all over. He's got hands like a girl. They're like warm pillows. They're softer than pennies. I'm feel my hands. I'm feel mad. No, no, no. I don't want Feel! Wait, don't want to do that. Dude, it's okay. You're soft. You're sensitive. Women love that shit. Ask Terry, she'll tell you. Am I right, Terry? See, she knows. Some men have lower testosterone than others. You're not very aggressive. That's why you haven't been late in six years. Shark! <laughs> what? It's not a secret. She knows it's set up. That's why we invited her. Not everything needs to be said out loud, all right? It's awkward.
It's not awkward. If anything, it broke the ice. Now you guys can say whatever you want to each other. Just stop talking, please. I agree. <laughs> Dude, you gotta loosen up. We're on a ski trip. It's fun. Oh, fine, all right? Please just stop talking. Just go back to sleep. <laughs> Six years? No. Six months, Oh, maybe. it's been a long time for me, too. I mean, it's up to LA. LA is fun. Get out there, not miss you as but... Do you mind if I actually turn on the radio? There's a station that just started playing Christmas music, and I can't get enough of it. KLX. You know it? I listen to it every December. I love, I love Christmas, Christmas music. music. I, I listen, listen to it all year round. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's so crazy. Well, it just so happens that I collect some very rare Christmas tunes, and, and, and for this trip, I made a special Christmas playlist. A Christmas playlist? Yeah, Christmas, Christmas playlist? playlist. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Christmas song. It's definitely a Christmas song. Look, I grew up with Christmas music, okay? Catholic. And this is absolutely not Christmas music. We all grew up with Christmas music, Chuck. If you think you're the only guy in America who ever listened to Silent Night, you just have to be quiet and let it play. Let me start it again. <laughs> That's offensive, and it's not gay. Pretty sure it is, dude. <sighs> you know nothing about music. I know when a song is gay, and this song is most definitely of the homosexual variety. That is just your stupid, narrow-minded opinion. You're a stupid, narrow-minded opinion. What does that even mean? That's a gibberish response. You're a gibberish response. <laughs> Do something, please. Stop teasing Matt. He's not teasing. He's not teasing. Stop bullying Matt. Stop bullying is not the right word. Stop making Matt sad. <laughs> Dad, Jesus Christ, just forget it, all right? <laughs> anyway, the first part of this melody is meant to evoke a certain nostalgia for a, for a time long gone. Right now I'm having nostalgia for Christmas music. <laughs> I will bet you $1,000 that this is Christmas music. <laughs> I have the album in my apartment. I will show you the front of it. It has a tree with lights, four gifts with bows, and Cyrus Chestnut dressed like a fucking Santa Claus. I've had it for years. I listen to it constantly. Jesus. Dude, I believe that the album cover says it's a Christmas song. That serious chest hair or whatever thinks it's a Christmas song. But I'm hearing it with my own ears. And this is absolutely, positively not a Christmas song. Sound like a Christmas song right now, but if we all be quiet and let it play, you will see that it is. The beginning is meant to be a nice, slow build to a song we will all recognize. Trust me. Let me start it again. <laughs> Tinkling piano. A Christmas song has bells, Santa Claus, elves making toys, babies in mangers, reindeer dashing through the snow. I want horse, elf, and sleigh. Over oh. the fields we go. Laughing all the way. Laughing all the way. Laughing all the way. Make it spirit bright. What part of this ride is here? Sign something right. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All the time is around and I'm always with the sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells. That's it! Dude, what are you doing? I'm 
calling Eric. You're getting out of the car and going with him. It's not that big of a deal. I just don't get how this is Christmas music. I told you that there was a build-up. A build-up. It builds. But you're too impatient to wait. You're like an infant. Like a child. <laughs> Eric, are you still behind me? Okay, listen. When you see me pull over, because Chuck's going to get out and go with you, and I'll take you over from your car. Yeah, I, I know that you had him last time. Remember, I could not drive another two and a half hours listening to him complain about every little thing. Is this you? Here, pull, pull over. Eric! 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 Cliffs are out here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, but he is the piece of shit. <laughs> what are you saying? I said you're a useless piece of shit. What? Thanks, friend. You're welcome, friend. That wasn't nice. No, it needed to be said. He's a fucking child. Okay, this is making me a little uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm dealing with here, right? I mean... I don't think you deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay. I'm the bad guy in all this. Oh, that's just beautiful. Unbelievable. Oh. If you knew him like I knew him, believe me, you'd be on my side. I'm not on anybody's side. Unbelievable. I have never met anybody with less tact. He has no filter. It's like if you just took a garbage can and turned it upside down, everything just spills right out, no matter how disgusting or inappropriate. Maybe we should put the I have worked so hard to be a likable man, you know? Somebody you would want as a boyfriend. Honest, educated, decent shape, understanding, didn't matter. He's the one that got laid all through college, annoyed the fuck out of everyone, yet they gave him blowjobs at the drop of a hat. Matt. I said, oh, this will change. After college, we'll be adults, you know, meet more mature women. And then it'll be my turn, you know? It'll be my turn. But here we are in our 30s. They're happy as pigs as shit, and I'm still struggling to go on a second date. What's wrong with that picture, huh, Terry? Matt, that's enough. Yeah, I hear you. Way too much withering reality for a weekend trip to Mammoth, I hear you. What I should do is just shut up and let him say whatever he wants, because we all have our role to play in this group of friends, right? And I've been cast as the nice one. Fine, fine. <laughs> You're not the nice one today, that's for sure. <laughs> I know that. I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean that, that's not me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now, huh? Lost my shot. Ah, uh, yeah, that just figures. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna shut up for the whole rest of this trip. I think that's best for everyone involved. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on some Christmas music that we all know and like. But before I do that, before I put on any music of any kind, so help me God, we are gonna finish listening to this goddamn Christmas song. It's nine and a half minutes long, but we're gonna listen to every last fucking note. And if any of you don't like it, you can blow it out your ass. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a Christmas song. True classic. <laughs> 